Hi, I'm Andrew from IT, and today we're going to talk a little bit about working with PDF files, which is a question we've been getting a lot lately. So, what we're going to cover are some reasons to use alternatives to Acrobat. What can you do with Adobe Reader? How to create PDFs in other applications? A suggested workflow for PDF file change management? And an alternative solution if you must edit PDFs. So let's get started. Now the first thing to remember is that Acrobat Pro is old. It's really old. The version that we have is over eight years old. So it's hard to expect it to work on modern operating systems and work with all the modern software. And we've been having some difficulties with it. So being eight years old, it does have trouble running on modern operating systems. And there are other free solutions that are already on your computer that you can use to create PDF files. And upgrading to a more modern version of Acrobat Pro for the entire campus would be very, very expensive. So what can you do with Reader? You know, Adobe Reader is free, and that's something that anybody can have on their computer. So Adobe Reader DC is the version that's available right now. And what it lets you do is it'll let you make annotations to any existing PDF file. Now, that means that you can add comments and sticky notes, you can suggest changes, you can highlight a passage, draw a shape, add stamps. It does let you fill out forms and add digital signatures to your documents. There is a button in the application that says Edit PDF, but what it actually does is it takes you to a website where you can purchase Acrobat Pro if you'd like to make edits, so it's a little bit misleading. So working with Adobe Reader is like having a handout given to you, you know, at a, at a presentation. You can take a pen and you can mark it up any way you want, and you can take a highlighter and you can draw shapes and arrows to help yourself, but you can't change the printed text that's there. That's what Adobe Reader does. So if you need to work with PDFs and you need to distribute files as PDFs to people, there are ways to do this without having Adobe Acrobat. Uh, one option is to export to PDF. You know, many applications offer the option to export a file you are working on as a PDF. Um, it's usually located under the file menu, and then you can choose export and be presented with a number of different formats to, you know, export your file into, whether it be, in this case, you have, you know, PowerPoint, movie, PDF. And it's a very common option in both Office and Apple's iWork applications. You could make something in Word and export it as a PDF. Or in the case of these slides for this presentation, I could take it from Keynote and export to PDF. Uh, another option that is always available in Mac OS and is to print your file as a PDF. So you can actually find it by opening the print window by going to File Print. And if you hit that little button in the corner that says PDF, where I got my nice big blue arrow there, it'll actually allow you to make a PDF of any file. So you go to File Print, click on that button, choose Save as PDF, and it'll put it wherever you need it to be. So that means that we're, we're working with a file in some other format, whether it be you know, Word or Pages or Keynote or you know, whatever it is, and we're exporting it out as a PDF to give to people. Um, so that way, the idea is that you're, you're, you're making changes to your original file and then sending it out as a PDF, kind of like a finalized version. So let's take a look at a sort of visual representation of what that workflow is. So let's say I go and I create my document in Word. And it can be anything, doesn't matter. But I need to send this document in Word as a PDF to people because I don't want them to change it. I want it to be like a handout, right? So I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose export and I'm going to export it as a PDF file. And I'm going to keep that original Word document because remember I don't have Acrobat on my computer right now but if I need to make changes to this file I can. But hang on, I, I distributed it and now I do need to make changes. I sent it out to people and I realized there's something that I need to change. It's not perfect the way that it is. So what I would actually do is I would make edits to the original Word file. And then I would export and overwrite my created PDF file and send it out to people. So that's the idea, is that instead of making sure that we have you know, this, this very complicated software to edit existing PDF files, we're going to keep everything as, as a Word document, make our changes, send it out to people as a PDF. If we need to make changes, we're going to change the Word document, save it as a new PDF, and send it out that way. So there are 
you know, sometimes that we don't have access to that original Word file. And I would definitely recommend going that way from this point forward so that you can always have the file that you need and you can always make changes. But what if that's not available? You know, what if editing is required and we don't have a way to get Acrobat to work? Well, there's other applications that can do this. So uh, PDF Expert is one that is free that uh, we have played around with a little bit in IT. And as long as you're only using it on one computer, it's free. And that allows you to easily make edits to any existing PDF file. Uh, now granted, this is kind of like the in case of emergency break glass kind of idea, because the best way to do it is to start with a file that you can edit and then export as a PDF. But if you have to, PDF Expert is pretty good. It's available at this website, pdfexpert.com. And uh, right now, Goucher IT is currently exploring a commercial product to deploy to community uh, members for working with PDF files. So Acrobat, like I mentioned, would be prohibitively expensive to, to buy a very large license of the new version. But there are other competing applications that are actually easier to use than Acrobat, and they have, you know, they work nicely with colleges to help us get copies of them. So keep an eye out. We'll be uh, sending out some announcements about that in the future. And that's pretty much it. So PDFs don't have to be super complicated, and you don't have to work with Acrobat to work with them. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the help desk. You can send an email to helpdesk.goucher.edu, uh, or you can call us at extension 6322. We are here to help you. We know that sometimes this stuff can be confusing, but we'll help you get through it. So thanks a lot for joining me uh, for this short presentation, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a great day.